Building off the lessons of the attacks of 9-11, Delaware police and their federal partners have created a system of collaborative policing that builds on the strengths of each. State and local police remain at the front line of law enforcement protecting our communities. Their greater numbers and familiarity with the communities in which we live and in which they serve make them ideally suited to carry out their critical public safety and policing missions. Being a small state, Delaware's police face unique opportunities and challenges. Delaware's size lends itself naturally to a closely knit, highly adaptable law enforcement community. At the same time, many of our police departments, uh, particularly some of our municipal departments uh, in the southern part of the state, uh, are small and as a result can at times lack the resources needed to develop highly specialized techniques or units that might be needed to deal with organized crime or other relatively rare serious crimes that have serious consequences. First and foremost, in order to be effective as one law enforcement community, our partners must be educated to the threat. To do this, they must have access to the same information that I see every day as part of my daily threat briefing. We accomplish this most effectively through the partnerships of the Joint Terrorism Task Force, <coughs> the JTTF. Between my two states, I have over 50 federal, state, and local police agencies assigned to our JTTF squads. In these task forces, individual agency emblems are left at the door. All members of the JTTF have access to the exact same information that FBI special agents have. Prior to the current increased emphasis on information and intelligence sharing following the events of 9-11, such formal coordination between federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies in Delaware was limited at best. While departments would occasionally share case data, it was not a formal practice and was more of dependent on friendships between individual investigators. Such information or intelligence was considered proprietary of whatever agency had collected it and it was not disseminated to neighboring jurisdictions on a regular or consistent basis. There were no shared intelligence databases and most intelligence collection records were kept in a file drawer. These practices were considered normal prior to the rise of intelligence-led policing, which has involved post 9-11. Generally speaking, law enforcement agencies did not consistently have access to critical intelligence necessary to investigate criminal cases across jurisdictional lines or between the federal, state, and local levels. Currently, the flow of information between federal, state, and local agencies has greatly improved with the establishment of formal interagency relationships between federal liaisons and fusion centers, 